This video is brought to you by Squarespace. The fact we're obviously here means we are leaving today and we've got a long day ahead of us. We are flying now to St. Petersburg, which is a five hour flight. And then from there, we're gonna take a bus out of Russia. But we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. First is the flight. We're falling asleep as we're standing up. So um, let's grab a drink and then head off. The is open at the desk number two, three, four, two. We didn't feel much on the flight. The emotions of leaving my grand were still raw. And as we were flying away from Kemerova, it hit very hard. St. Petersburg and that was the easy part. The time is 8 o'clock and we have a bus going to Tallinn at 1 o'clock so we need to get to the bus station now and just wait around for a little bit. It should take about seven hours all going well with the borders and stuff. We shall see I guess. Summer in St. Petersburg isn't it? No, minus four. Who'd have thought that was so warm? <clears throat> Mind you we just walked out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes. Oh. So I'm going to zip up and then unzip. Is that him? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wonderful. Oh, okay. <laughs> The bus station here in St. Petersburg. Our bus is in three hours, so we're not actually gonna like walk around the city or anything. And also it's not cold, but it's because it's not cold, the snow is like a really wet snow. So we'll probably find somewhere to grab a drink and then just uh yeah sit and chill for a couple of hours and then get yeah. on the bus, yeah? Yeah, let's go get a coffee or something. Yeah.
The snow falls so beautifully, it's so slow. It was, just, mm. it was one point when we booked this, I'd never heard of this company before, and the site was a bit of a funny one. I was a bit worried it was a, like a non existent company and we'd been mugged off a little bit, but <laughs> it exists and it looks really nice. <laughs> to the schedule this bus should take about seven hours all the way to Tallinn and that's including the border crossing at Narva but yeah I guess we'll see how it goes <laughs> After three hours on the road, we arrived at the Estonian border. We were hoping for a quick crossing, but let's just say it was one of the most intense and difficult border crossings we've ever known, especially for Matt. But that's a story for another time. By the time we crossed into Estonia, it was already getting dark, and frankly, we were completely emotionally drained, so we didn't feel much more until arriving in Tallinn. We made it to Tallinn bus station. So that's been a long day. <laughs> Wouldn't be saying anything. <laughs> Just ordering a taxi to the hotel where we're staying tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll speak to you there. Здравствуйте. Спасибо большое. Спасибо большое, достанем. To be honest, we were going to say something more when we got here, but we are both completely out of it. So we'll probably speak to you in the morning. I think I would rather sit five days on the train than relive this day again. <laughs> we were so positive when we got off at St. Pe in St. Petersburg, or when we sat on the bus, we were like, this has gone really quick so far. Uh -huh. God, that was, that was a long, that. long bus journey because of the border. As we said, it was, uh, it was eventful. Quite something. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll speak to you in the morning. Good morning from a rather chilly Tallinn. The time is ten thirty, and earlier on this morning we went down for some breakfast in the hotel, and yeah, we had a really nice sleep. To be honest, we both feel a lot more. The camera died. Refreshed is what I was going to say. We feel a lot more refreshed now. And uh, yeah, the time is 10.30. Um, we're just gonna have a quick cup of tea and get packed up. And then we're gonna head out for a few hours into Tallinn and have a look around the city before another flight 
later on. It's actually our second time here. We came here seven years ago, long before YouTube, just on a city break, and we really, really loved it. So looking forward to um, heading back out and having a look around again. But for now, we're just gonna have a quick cup of tea, get packed up, and then um, let's head out into the streets. So before we head out, we were actually getting on with a little bit more work, including on our website. And on that note, we wanna say a big thank you once again to our friends over at Squarespace for continuing to support our channel and making this trip happen. For those of you who don't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that makes building your own website or blog simple and easy. As we mentioned before on this channel, we built our website mattandjulia.co.uk using Squarespace's award-winning website designs and connecting it directly to our social media pages as well as our Stripe and PayPal accounts to start monetizing right away. Using their award-winning website designs was quick and easy, but any issues we did have were easily solved by just jumping on their live chat function. So if you're thinking of building your own website or blog for yourself or your business, check out Squarespace using a free trial. And when you're ready, head to squarespace.com forward slash Matt and Julia for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using the code Matt and Julia. And on that note, it is now 12 o'clock. We are late for checking out. So let's get out into Tallinn. Now what? Like... <laughs> what happened at six in the morning? No alarm. Nothing. Six in the morning. Why would you do that? When I need to wake up at six in the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hundred times. I didn't slept till twelve. So cozy here. I just remembered that we actually had one of the best city breaks here in Tallinn because it was so cozy. It's just atmosphere was just amazing. Yeah, I think the time that we came here, it was the Christmas market. Yeah. It was just before Christmas and it had just had some fresh snowfall. It was really, really beautiful. And we stayed in a really nice hotel, actually. Did you? Yeah, yeah, not compared to like the type of hotels we stay in these days. We actually forked out a little bit. I think it was like, at the time like 40 pounds a night which for us at that point was was a lot of money i would say oh we were always cheap <laughs> always but it had like a panoramic view over the top uh, at the, <gasps> on the top floor and there was a pool there a sauna and you could see right over the old town it was absolutely gorgeous i don't know if we've got any photos if we do we'll put them over the top of this but yeah it was lovely question question christmas markets around christmas right yeah that was a that was a bit of a bit of a statement wasn't it <laughs> So we, um, we bought a little mulled wine because the wind today is absolutely biting. It's not too cold temperature wise, but when the wind blows, it is freezing right in your face. So uh, yeah, this, was, this is to uh, warm us up. £3.50 a, uh, a pop, not £3.50, three euros 50 a go. 100 mils. <laughs> 100 mils, you tell us if you think that's a good deal. But <laughs> we think it's <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's tasty, it's tasty, but it's more like a shot. You don't like it, do you? No, I like it, you I like mine. it, I have yours. <laughs> Just use it to warm your hands up. So we left the hotel at 12, as we said, and the time now is 1.30. Our flight's at four, so we're gonna start heading back towards the hotel and then to the airport. But even in this hour and a half, I think we can confirm that we still like the city. It's really, really beautiful and it's really cozy. And uh, I think, yeah, if we're here for more, we'd perch up in a coffee shop, warm up, eat some food, head out again. It's lovely. But yeah, we need to keep moving. So let's go. I'm sure everyone's like, yes, they still like the city. 
<laughs> no, but just like I made like a bit of a thing earlier. I was like, let's see if we, let's see what we think of it. Still, so, we still like the city. <laughs> We just checked our bags in and went for security. Wanted to say that I find it quite interesting that Estonian uh, language is quite similar to Finnish, apparently, and they're in their own group. They're not similar to any other language. Like other Baltic languages, Lithuanian and Latvian, they're related. So fascinating. It's really interesting. I'd like to see where they came from. Finnish and Estonian? Hmm. I don't know. It's really, really interesting. And they're like they're not in the European languages either so near enough every other language in Europe even if they're not related for example Albanian is a completely separate language family but it still goes back to like Indo-European languages whereas the languages of Estonia and Finland as well as Hungarian are completely separate completely separate and you just sort of, I don't know you can see you can sort of see geographically how languages change right Slavic languages mm. you can see how they've moved yeah. Germanic languages you can see how they've moved um, across Scandinavia and the British Isles and stuff, Romance languages along the Mediterranean. But how on earth did Finnish and Estonian come to be? I don't know. It's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting at the gate behind the passport control, <laughs> just w watching people coming through the door. I don't know why it's so funny. It's like <laughs> they're the chosen ones. <laughs> It's like, you know on Harry Potter when they run yeah, at the wall yeah. and they make it onto platform nine and three quarters? Yeah, and they keep appearing. Like, they just walk through and they're like... <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> we'll show you, we'll show you. To London, where we're going to be for the grand total of 28 hours. <laughs> Just when I know we got to the end of this epic journey, and we're yeah, get changed. Yeah, <laughs> literally, yeah, change our suitcases, grab some clothes, and we're off again. For various reasons, this was one of the most intense and emotionally draining journeys we've ever had. But it's also the start of another that we've been dreaming of for years. We'll share that in the next video, so for now, welcome to England for the next 28 hours. And thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.